Welcome to the next segment of Creating Videos. This is Shannon McGregor, and I'm going to coach you through the steps of adding and importing media into Camtasia. The audio recording that you just heard is what I'm gonna to use to orient you to the track system here in Camtasia. You'll notice that this looks pretty familiar if you did the recording of the PowerPoint earlier. I have the Camtasia recording file right up here in the clip bin, and then I have two tracks, one that contains system audio, which is totally irrelevant, but if I click on it and I hit delete, I can get rid of it very easily. Then I'm left with the audio and the video for my recording. If I place my cursor over this track or over the bar of this track, I can right click and then separate the video and the audio. And why would I do that? Because I don't want both of them. I only want my audio. I don't want my video. I'm going to voice over everything. It's just not something that I need. Once those are gone, once I only have the audio, I can do a couple of things. I can either click, hold, and drag this down to the track where I want to work from it, and then I can put my layers of images and stuff on these other tracks. Or I can also right click, and it, there's this option here to remove all empty tracks. I don't need them. I can just get rid of them if I want. Do I have to? No, but it does clutter up the page and I'm not one for clutter. From there, I can move my playhead here to the beginning and I can trim down the audio for this file. If I have any edits to do in here to get ums out or whatever, I can do that. But what I have now is pure audio. So when I play it, I won't see anything on the screen. It's going to be a black screen. It's just going to be that audio Welcome file. Welcome to the next segment of creating videos. Okay. Now that we have this added in here, what I want to do is show you how to add other audio files as well as some images to give you some variety to add into your videos. I'm going to show you how to import a picture to add into a track and to be able to use it for an extended period of time. If I go up here to import media, there's a little arrow to the right of that button. That allows me to either import media from my computer or from Google Drive. I'm going to find one on my computer, so I'm going to click import media. And then I'm going to go here to the pictures area where my computer saves the pictures that I take. And I'm going to scroll down here to this picture of mint that I planted earlier today and click open. Look at what's happened. This image is now here on my screen. I have the recordings that I've been working on right up here. And then I also have an image here. If I were to add audio or other features into my media clip bin, then they would appear under here too. How do I get this onto the tracks? Well, it's as easy as click, hold, and drag. All I have to do is click on the picture and drop it down here. I like to place it on the same track where I have other pictures and I can tell that I have other pictures or other video just by going to the beginning of my track and looking for pictures. So here's a picture of audio. That means I have an audio file right there. Here at the beginning of this clip, notice that I have the audio symbol and then I have a picture above it. And what that means is that's my screen recording that it took. I like to have all of my images, all of my screen recordings, and any of my pictures on the same track. So as you can see, I've placed this picture right here on track two. To get over the winter blues today, I went to the local nursery and found a lovely chocolate mint plant. While I was there, I also saw this cute little bird pot, so I decided to bring it home and plant it. I had some gravel that I put in the bottom for drainage. Then I put a little bit of soil over that gravel. I put the plant in there, and then I tucked some soil around the corners, around the sides of the plant and inside the pot. Then I brought it inside and I watered the plant and cleaned up the pretty little pot. Now I have a wonderful start to spring in my guest room that I can go by and I can rub those leaves and that lovely chocolate mint scent will fill the room. Now that we've added the picture to the timeline, I can add an audio file. I've just used Sound Recorder on my computer to record an audio file. And I can click the little import media arrow and then click import media. If I go to the spot where I have my audio file, I can click it and click open, and that has added it into my audio clip bin. I can listen to it to make sure I have the right file if I want. To get over the winter blues today, I went to. 
and it is the right file. So I'm going to click, hold, and drag it immediately below my picture file. Now I do need to do a little bit of work on this, so I'm going to pull that picture just over for a little bit. As you heard, I have a lot of dead space at the beginning of my audio file. Let me get this over to the side and then I can place my playhead at the beginning of where I want to cut and the end of where I want to cut. And then I can use the scissors to snip it away. And then let's check the audio to hear how this works. To get over the winter blue. That's a really nice starting point. Now I can slide my picture back over to the side and I can edit away at the rest of this information. Now that I have my audio trimmed down, I can see that my picture is dramatically shorter than my audio. So I need to click, hold, and drag the ends of it to the point that my audio ends. Now of course if I had multiple pictures in here, I could stretch them. I could have picture one. This is my pot with my soil or with my gravel and me putting that in there. And then picture two is putting the, pit, the plant actually into the pot. And three is tucking the soil around the edges. And then four is watering, etc. So I could have different pictures in here showing each part of the process if I wanted to. But for now, I'm just going to stretch this picture to the end of my audio. That is going to allow for my voice file to be able to play and show the picture the entire time too. Well now you've seen several different steps in this process and you've watched my Camtasia recording file expand as I've been adding into this video. It's your turn. I'm going to create instructions to remind you how to import media. You can start with a recording if you want to and then add an image and add an audio file. You can practice clipping and moving those elements around so that you see what happens when you don't have an image on top of your audio and how to get it to match it up. You can stretch your image to go over the entire um, audio file that you're going to import. Let's get started. We're going to finish off this video, go and download the image and download the audio file, open up Camtasia, and start making a video where you play around with images and audio that are independent and that allow you a little more versatility with your production.